Hi guys, it's Claire's and welcome to another video tutorial with me. If you're new to my channel, I put out a lot of videos uh, based on floral watercolor. So if you like that sort of thing, please do check out the other videos and hit the like and subscribe button so you get notified for new videos coming out every week. In today's video, we are going to be embellishing and adding details to this painting right here. This is what I had done on Sunday's live that happened on YouTube just this past Sunday. So if you've missed it and would like to do this, please head on over there and check it out. All right, so just to give you a quick heads up on my materials, I am going to be using the watercolors by KMS Watercolor. She has some really amazing watercolors, especially if you are into metallics and such. I really do love her watercolors. The ones that I've used here are White Knights by St. Petersburg or St. Petersburg White Knights. Um, for the embellishments that I want to add more at the bottom here, I'm going to be using the Malibu or the Maui by um, KMS Watercolor. And then I want to try this canopy leaves right here, this nice little green that she's got. And uh, I might even add some of the passion flower in there. We'll see. So that's what I have for colors for my brush. I'm going to be keeping it simple and using the number four silver black velvet just because I'll have more control over the sizing of our florals uh, because it's a smaller brush. And then for paper, this is the Canson XL watercolor paper. I've got my little bowl of water and this little resin beauty is by Lisi Arts on Instagram. And I think we're ready to begin. So, so I've zoomed in so you guys can see me um, painting this more in detail at the bottom here. And what I'm going to explain before we begin is these are going to be like, almost like Queen Anne's Lace, um, but I don't think it's called Queen Anne's Lace. So if you know the name of this, once I start painting it, please, please, please do comment below. All right, so as I mentioned, we will be using some of a mixture of the regular paints by KMS and the uh, glitter. So I'm gonna be using Malibu, which is like a nice pinky purple. And then we'll be using some of the Passion Flower uh, for the color of the flowers. But before we begin, I'm going to draw in the stem so it gives me a semblance of an idea where I'm painting things. So here we go. I'm going to be mixing some color and taking some of her canopy leaves green. And I'm just going to mix that onto my palette here. And then I'm also going to be taking a little bit of the blue, blue morpho, and just mixing that in there too, just so I can get slightly different variant of green compared to what I have happening in there already. So I'm just gonna get a little bit more of the canopy green, just to get another nicer variant. All right, perfect, so that's the green that I have and we are going to begin by drawing the stem in as I mentioned. So I'm gonna have one coming out this way. And now this apparently has got protrusions like this, if you wanna call it that, and then each of these three have several tiny little anchors for our flowers. And so I'm roughly painting those in. And then we're gonna wash off our brush and go back in and put our little flowers in here before the green fully dries up. But before that, I'm just going to add a couple of strokes here showing leaves. Like the tiny wildflower leaves happening. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and mix some of the color and get some, some of the first color, uh, which is going to be a lighter version of the Malibu. So I'm just getting the Mar Malibu directly from here. And you 
you can mix it onto your palette if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and add tiny little dots in and around this area here. Getting more color. And then I'm spreading it out. Notice the white space, guys. I'm kind of spreading it out and I'm going to give this like an oval shape. because when we go in with the purple, we're going to go a tad darker with the purple. So you watch how I'm giving this like an oval shape, right? And then just dipping the tip of my brush in water, I'm just going to smoothen out and kind of make this going from dark to light, sort of. Notice how I'm kind of almost brushing in the color at this point. Just adding some in the green and just like tapering off to the sides and just like dotted at the edges there. Now that we've done this, now I'm going in with my purple. So the passion flower purple. So I'm going to get, I've washed off my brush. I'm getting some color from this little color cake here. And as soon as I got enough, I'm going to go in and add a couple of strokes, starting mostly at the bottom first. And I'm just adding a couple of dots here and there and allowing the color to flare into this beautiful, what was the color called? Malibu. Some areas can be a tad darker if you want. <clears throat> I'm trying to add more of the purple hue at the bottom so that gives you that nice impression of like shadowy effects almost but I love this transition that it's giving and it's such a pretty color combination so I'm going to zoom in so you guys can have a look and see how this looks up close but yeah very 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 pretty I'm just adding a couple of dots at the edge here and there, and we are done. That's what I want this to look like. So we're going to do a couple of these here and there, and then add more detail by adding some darker greens happening. So now that you know how to do this, I'm going to make the rest of it a time lapse. So you can view how it turns out, and then kind of go off and do your own thing and embellish um, this, I guess, composition that we did on Sunday. All right, so be right back.